hi everyone welcome back in the laravel video tutorial and in this video tutorial we are going to learn about the laravel scheduler all right so first question is what is the laravel scheduler as uh, the name uh, pronounced that uh, if you want to schedule something for uh, some other time then you can schedule here let's say uh, you want to schedule that the database uh, logs will be clean uh, after every week or you want to say that uh, you want to send a mail to every user on a daily morning on the 7 p.m. or any time that you want all right so for that uh, it's this is not possible that uh, a programmer will be sitting there and send a mail to everybody or a program uh, already made it there and we have to hit the every day in the morning right so for that we will schedule a job okay and this job will be done when the time will be come let's say for every weekend for every day even every minutes or e even yearly whenever you want to schedule we can we can do that all right so this is the basics about scheduler and for uh, now we are going to make a scheduler and how it's going to work all right so for that scheduler to, uh, to run a scheduler we actually need a cron job that will be hit it uh, after every time all right so but we don't have a server for now so I, i'm just going to uh, show it with then another example uh, not with the uh, actual cron all right so there is a command in the laravel which is the schedule run so we will run the schedule with this command and it will work all right so now let's get start with that so uh, when we are just going to start with the scheduler we have to um, need to do some steps first of all uh, we need a command actually all right so we will make our custom command then uh, we have to uh, we will give the command name and description also and then in a function side we will write some code that code will be execute when we just run this command all right and this command will be run by the scheduler all right so you will see that the everything will be going on a very dynamic all right so and uh, what task actually we have to do in this video we will run uh, a scheduler and with that we will just clean the our uh, db table all right so now let's start so first of all i'm just going to show you my database which is the user and there is a table with the name of test all right there is a no data is here so let's say i just make some entries here like to do no it's an id so let's one say two and two same all right so when i just uh, write a program when i run this scheduler this table will be cleaned automatically all right and it will tell with the command line also okay so now just start with that so first of all uh, i'm just going to make a command first of all just clear the everything and um, just write here php artisan make command and command name so let's say my command name is every minute because i want to schedule the task in the every minute because if i just go for the hour and it it cannot possible in a video so just write here every minute and hit the enter and then you can see that your command is successfully created where is command is placed inside the app console commands and uh, every minutes all right so now we have to write the command name so for that we have to use uh, put the name on the signature so let's say my command name is minute and let's uh, put here update or delete whatever you want to put i just put the update here moshu and uh, here we can put the description let's say uh, this will clean a db table all right okay so our command is created now so now in the f uh, handler we have to write the code that we want to execute okay so let's say i want to clean my db so that i have to put the name and write the uh, command for that so just write db and with the db um, table 
and table name is test as we seen and just put it delete delete command will not delete the table it will delete the entries of table all right okay and after that i can write here some text like operation done fine so uh, i just write a db so i have to import the db name also here so just you can choose um choose eliminate just copy from here right and support mm. oh, yes support. fine support is right and now just fake it right so uh, the everything is done here so now what we have to do the last thing just go inside the kernel and here we have to execute this command okay so for that what we have to do just clean it and here we have to write the command name what is our command name as you seen uh, my command name is minute update and hourly uh, i can just change here every minute all right so i think everything is fine so now uh, let's go to the cons uh, terminal and just write here php artisan list and let's see is our uh, command is uh, existing here or not all right so just go to the minutes yes so this is our uh, command is here minutes update okay and here you can see that this will clean the db table All right so just i copy it here and just i'm going to write here php artisan okay and before that we have to do one more thing actually I have to write the DB configuration also, which is I do write here. Okay, so my database name is user, username is root, and password is Red Hat at thirty eight one two three. It's a very common name. Okay. Um. Can then just uh, I have to restart the serve command because otherwise it's not going to pick this artisan dot en environment file and just hit the enter and you can see that we got their operation done here all right so the operation should be done so there is an entry two entries they should be cleaned let's check yes you can see that this is cleaned all right so you can see that just we have run this command but how actually scheduler work but actu how scheduler actually works um, this command we are not have to run the uh directly manually this will be run automatically by the scheduler okay so just for that i am just going to make the some another entries then i can tell you that how actually it's work so let's say three bruce all right so i think one entry is enough for now all right so now uh, i'm not going to run this command i'm just going to run the scheduler okay so just write here php artisan and uh, here I have to write schedule run and just hit then you can see that it will tell that running scheduler command from here artisan minutes update it will run this command why because here we write inside the kernel this command here okay and it's it's automatically run when we just put it on the server uh then it will automatically uh run this command in every minutes why every minutes we because we put it here every minute all right so and uh, it will clean in the every minute every minute so you can see that it's clean from here so now just take a look from a laravel scheduler so that i can just tell you some uh, more exposure here okay so in the introduction just is tell you what is that and it will tell there start the scheduler for the start the scheduler we have to write this on side the 
Laravel fog here. This is uh, providing a server. If you want to go there, then you can learn from here also. And then we have to same thing that we have to uh, so clean the data like this. And then we have to schedule the artesian commands like here, all right? And there is some function like every minutes, every five minutes, every ten minutes, fifteen, and all the things are here, all right? So you can choose whatever you want. You can choose in the yearly, quarterly, monthly. It will run whenever you do, all right? So they will be automatic key automatically run after a scheduled time when they are just uh, scheduled in the cron job from the server, okay? So that's it for now. So thanks for uh, watching this video. If you have still any kind of confuse, confusion, you can ask me in the comment box. And don't forget to subscribe our channel. Stay tuned with us. Thanks, guys. Thanks for watching this video.